is Meredith and I'm a customer support specialist at Reclaim Hosting and today I'm going to walk you through how to sign up for an account with us. So I'm on reclaimhosting.com, our main website, so this is the front page and you're going to go to sign up. So this is our shared hosting page at Reclaim Hosting. Um, we have three plans. Um, the first is, the, is a student personal plan. Next is a professional plan and an organization plan. And you can see all of these have the same features to them. There's a free domain registration. Um, there's no limits um, to the amount of installs, um, pieces of software you can install on your site. Um, and the only main difference is the amount of storage each plan has. So the, first, so the personal plan is two gigabytes of storage. The 10 gigabytes is for the professional plan and the organizational plan is 100 gigabytes of storage. And each of these plans are on a yearly basis. So you will be um, charged again for your plan a year from the date you sign up. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and click sign up and that is gonna bring me to a screen that looks like this. I've chosen the student personal plan and you're given a set of options to what you can sign up with um, as your domain name. So you can register a new domain. Um, if you have an existing domain that you'd like to move to Reclaim Hosting, you can select this and check to see if it's available to transfer. Um, if you'd like to keep your domain at your existing registrar and update, so move it to Reclaim Hosting, you can um, update your name servers of your domain um, and you would just type in your domain name here or you can sign up for a subdomain. If you're not entirely sure what you like is your domain name, a subdomain of Reclaim Hosting is a great way to go until you decide what domain you'd like to register. All right, so I'm going to register a new domain. I'm going to try meredithfiero.com and see if that's available. Ah, so this domain already exists in our database. Um, so once a domain is registered, no one else can register that domain until it either expires or someone decides to get rid of it. Um, so you can try different combinations of, you, of say, your name, of your project name, um, until you find the correct version that you're happy with that's available to register. So I'm gonna click try a different domain and I'm gonna just scroll through these domain extensions to see which one is available. So I'm gonna try .net and that looks like it's available. So now I'm gonna con click continue. So you are brought to the domains configuration page next and here um, you have the option to select ID protection for your domain. And at, when you sign up for a domain, you are required to put down some contact information, but this information is public. So as a way around this, Reclaim Hosting provides ID Protect for all domains, which masks that contact information. So this is what a domain looks like when it not, does not have privacy protection turned on. You can see, you can see exactly where John Doe lives on 12 Main Street in Hollister, California. But if you have your domain protected using ID Protect, this is what people see when they search your domain name. So they have a, a fake email address and phone number connected to this company called Who is Privacy Protection. And so this is completely free to you. Um, and we definitely recommend that you use this. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and check the checkbox and click continue. And then I'm brought to the checkout page. And so you can see I selected the student personal plan, which is $30 a year. And then I selected a domain registration, meredithfiero.net, which is included with the price of hosting. So from here, you can continue shopping if you wanted to add more accounts to your, to your plan or more domain registrations, anything like that. If you want to start over, you can click the empty cart button. Um, and then if you're a, a new customer, you will be asked to put in your information um, to sign up for an account. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out. All right, so when you input in all your information, you'll scroll down. If you have a promo code, you can use that here. Um, if you're working with a 
class you your professor may have given you a promo code you can use that here but i'm just going to come over here to the payment method and sign up with my credit card um, you can also use paypal or if you need to um, submit an invoice to your purchasing office or anything like that um, you can click invoice only all right so i put in my information here and once you're ready to go you'll click complete order And that's it. You're brought to the order confirmation screen to show that your order went through successfully. Um, you'll get a confirmation email to the address that you signed up with. Um, but if you want to get started, you can go to your client area right here. And there you go. So one thing to keep in mind is that if you're signing up with a new domain, you need to verify that domain. You should get the confirmation email, a welcome email, and the domain verification email. We don't email you very often, but these are the three that you should, you get once you sign up. Um, so be sure to click on the link in the in that email, and there you go. Your account is all set up with Reclaim Hosting, and you're ready to start building out your domain. Happy reclaiming!